so let's dive in. We're gonna talk all about how to optimize your website for maximum conversion and lead flow. Uh, this is part of your 2020 internet marketing plan. So last month or earlier this year, we unpacked, like what's the big picture of your internet marketing strategy from your website to SEO, to pay-per-click, to social media, to Google local service ads, to retargeting and everything in between. And what we're gonna do throughout the course of the year is we'll drill down on specific aspects of that plan. And it really fits into the overall um, ecosystem of the digital dominance method, right? All of these little tactics and strategies. And the fact is, bullet number one is to make sure you're, you've got a great website that's built to convert and that's ranking in the non-paid listing. So you can get as, as much organic low cost traffic to your website as, as is humanly, uh, humanly possible. And so that's what we're gonna talk about today is really how to, how to maximize conversion, how to make sure your website is as great as it could be, as it should be. Uh, so some housekeeping right now, just before we get started, if you don't mind, let's turn off our cell phones, let's close Facebook. And you know, if you're really serious about double or tripling the amount of leads you get for your plumbing or HVAC business, um, let's give this next 60 minutes our undivided attention, like complete focus, let's be in on this, let's make sure that, um, we give this the attention that it deserves. Just real quick, who I am. Um, I, uh, I'm the author of The Complete Guide to Internet Marketing for uh, Plumbing and HVAC Contractors, as well as How to Triple Your Sales by Getting Your Internet Marketing Right. If you haven't read the book, I highly recommend you check it out. It kind of unpacks our overall strategy. So if you don't have a copy yet and you'd like to get a copy of this, um, you know, pop in chat here. Um, I'd like a copy and we'll reach out to you and, and get one to you uh, free of charge because we want you to have it and we know it can really have an impact on your on your strategy. Um, in addition to that, I've had the opportunity to speak at PHCC, QSC, ACCA. I'll be speaking at the Service Roundtable event in, in March. Um, and I'm widely accepted as one of the top experts in internet marketing for plumbing, HVAC, and home service companies. Uh, but I'd say more important than that really is at this point I've had the opportunity to work with literally hundreds of plumbing and HVAC companies across the country uh, and been able to take a lot of them from virtually no placement online to the point where they're now the dominant player in their respective markets. So what I share with you about internet marketing, about SEO, about your website, isn't based on theory. It's not based on my experience with major brands. It's experience working with companies just like yours in the plumbing, HVAC, home services trade. Um, at this point, we've rolled out over 300 plumbing and HVAC websites We've got access to the analytics and the data, so we really know down to the down to the click how how things convert, what has a bigger impact, and that's what I'm going to be sharing with you on the course of today's session. Now, my company, Plumbing and HVAC SEO, uh, this is what we do, right? We've got a team of 30 full-time employees here in Miami, um, web designers, SEO people, content editors. And this is what we do all day, every day. We implement internet marketing strategies for plumbing, HVAC, and home service companies. Our mission as a company is to help triple the size of 1,000 plumbing and HVAC companies. And so, you know, if you'd like to talk with us about your website, about your internet marketing strategy, about how we can help you implement this, we would love the opportunity to connect. And, and at any point in this in this session, if you want to just post in chat, I'd like to schedule a meeting. Um, no, no, you know, no pressure. Just a quick, we'll look at your stuff and show you how we can potentially uh, work together. So without further ado, let, let's dive in. Uh, I always like to start with the problem, right? There's no sense even sitting on a session about websites and website optimization if there's not a problem to be solved. And the issue as I see it is that you guys in this space as a whole make a big investment in marketing. Unlike other industries, you guys spend a lot of money in, in internet marketing, you do SEO and pay-per-click. Um, you've tried the big companies, the little companies, the guy across the street, the guy that sits in your BNI meeting, and you know that in order to keep the phones ringing, to keep the trucks running, to keep business really going strong, you have to make an investment. And you, you guys are not shy about making that investment in your internet marketing strategy. But oftentimes, you get traffic, right? You know, you're spending all this money, you're investing in SEO and pay-per-click, you get a bunch of traffic, but not enough leads, right? Not enough phone calls come in. In a lot of cases, there's a low return on investment, right? You spend $1,000 in pay-per-click and you get $1,000 worth of revenue or a little bit more than that. And it's enough to maybe cover the expense, but it's not enough to have profitability in order to really grow your, your agency. I mean, and really grow your, your plumbing or HVAC business. 
And what happens, and what I really think is the biggest potential problem, is you wind up with, with park trucks and empty schedules. One of the biggest challenges in this world right now is getting good qualified technicians. I want to hear from you in comments if you'd agree one of the biggest struggles you have isn't getting the phone to ring, it isn't generating leads, it's really finding good quality techs, keeping them trained, keeping them like busy throughout the day. I want to hear like a yes or a absolutely or yeah, that's one of our big challenges if that's the case. Okay, a lot of people saying, yep, yep, no doubt, that's, that's a legitimate concern. So if you're gener spending a bunch of money in marketing and you're not generating enough leads, the biggest challenge is the opportunity cost of a tech that you hire, that you recruit, that you train, not having enough jobs to you know, really cover his expense and or keep him busy enough to make the kind of money that he needs and losing those quality techs. And so if we can't solve for this, we're gonna have big problems, right? If we can't convert the visitors that get to our website at the highest level possible, we're not gonna generate enough leads so we can grow, right? So I think this is pretty mission critical. Give me a yes or I agree or something if, uh, if you know, I'm talking your language and, and you, you agree this is a pretty legitimate uh, challenge. Yes, okay, great. So here's the opportunity, right? Really the opportunity is to make sure that you've got a great website that's not just pretty, because we all want to be impressive and we all want to look good, but we really want a great website that's built to convert, that takes those people that get to the site and, and converts them. Really what we want is to be able to consistently convert our traffic from whatever source, SEO, pay-per-click, social media, saw one of our trucks and typed in our website, to convert those visitors into callers and leads at the highest level possible. Really when we do that, we can have a full schedule with our trucks running and consistent growth and momentum in our, in our businesses, right? And that's really what I think the opportunity is. We get the phones ringing, the trucks running, and our, and our businesses booming. So here's the deal. The website, your company website, is the hub, right? Whether, whether you realize it or not, your customer, before they call your service, before they do business with you, for the most part, they're taking out their phone and they're typing in, you know, plumber in my area, HVAC company in my area. And they're winding up at your website, either on their desktop or on their mobile phone. And whether that was because they saw your pay-per-click ad or potentially they heard one of your radio ads or they saw one of your trucks go by, they're going to wind up on your website. And if your website isn't compelling and it doesn't convert at the highest level possible, it brings down the effectiveness of all the other advertising that you do as a company. So that's why I start here as it relates to your internet marketing strategy, because it's the hub, because everything flows through your website, we have to make sure that it's as tight as possible and it's a, it's a bucket that's converting and not leaking visitors and leaking traffic from all over the place. I just want to draw a, an illustration of why conversion is so important. So here's scenario one. Let's just say your plumbing or HVAC website gets 1,500 uh, visitors per month, right? Which is, you know, not a massive amount of traffic, but not a small amount of traffic either. Um, and, and what we've seen looking at clients or, or companies in the plumbing, HVAC, home services world, average conversion rate somewhere between 5 and, and 10%, right? Not great. You know, but let's just say you're averaging 5% of the visitors that get to your website wind up calling in. That would mean for that 1,500 visitors, you generate 75 leads, right? And let's say con your conversion rate from phone call to book job is 30%. Ideally, we like to see it higher than that as well. That would mean for this 1,500 visitors, you generated 22 book jobs. Let's just say your average ticket is a low 450. I know a lot of you guys have a much higher ticket than this. Uh, you know, 750, 850, 900, and, and beyond. But even if just conservatively it was a $450 average transaction value, you generate $10,000 in revenue or booked revenue from that 1,500 visitors. Now, if we can just make a couple of tweaks and a couple of improvements to our website and really get it to convert at a, at a better level without spending an additional dollar on advertising. We can just take that same traffic, that same flow of visitors that are getting to our website and bump it to 15%. And I'm gonna show you some examples converting at 25, 30, 35%. So when you dial this in, 
you can have a much better conversion rate. But let's just say you can improve from 5% to 15%. That would mean for that same amount of traffic, you generate 225 calls. How many of you guys would like to have 225 leads versus 75? Just type me in the chat, or if you're watching this in the Facebook group, type me if you'd like to have 225 instead of 75. So everything else stays the same, right? Same amount of visitors, but you're just converting at a higher level and you keep the 30% conversion rate. That would mean you had 67 book jobs instead of, instead of just uh, 22. Same average ticket. You generate $30,000 in revenue as opposed to $10,000, right? You can really triple the amount of revenue just by improving the conversion rate on your website, right? And of course you can improve your conversion rate and you can improve your average ticket. And when you do that, your multiples go even, even better than that. But really that's what we're after, right? We wanna take your conversion rate from wherever it's at right now and maximize it. Get it to the point where it converts visitors from whatever source at the very highest level possible because this has a ripple effect and it has ramifications across all the advertising you do in your, in your business. So I just wanna, I wanna show you an example of the impact that conversion can actually have without putting any new SEO or putting any other paid search or putting any other marketing channels in place. And one of the best case studies I have for this is Laney's and they're a full service plumbing, HVAC, electrical and remodeling company in Fargo, North Dakota. Um, they're, they're a great company, right? And we have had the opportunity to work with them going on three years now. Um, but when we first started working with them, they had a, a very basic website, probably typical of what most home service company websites look like, right? A picture of a truck, a lot of technical jargon about their services and things like that. And so I've got an image because we were able to use the Wayback Machine to see what their website looked prior. And without really changing anything on their website, they, we rolled out an updated version of the site. So over here on the right, we're gonna show you kind of what the better case scenario is having pictures and imagery and conversion elements and all of the things you can do to improve your conversion rates. But really what I want you to see is this. So they were averaging from their website about 55 visitors per month. And this is going back to 2016. And we rolled out this updated version of the site. We're gonna really unpack the things that we did in order to make this reality. But without driving more traffic, without doing anything else, their call volume increased from 55 to 317 calls, you know, from one month to the next. And so that's really what's possible here when we get our websites dialed in, when we make sure that they're they're built to convert. I'll show you an example here, um, you know, kind of fast forward, We, you know, two years later after that, um, they had 930 phone calls and leads generated via their website. Uh, and if we, we uh, look at how much of that is coming from, you know, the last, uh, the last 30 days, um, it's 1,598 leads. So, you know, improved conversion, maximum maximum increase in lead flow and leads from the same exact traffic. Improve your traffic sources, like get ranked better, drive more, you know, more paid traffic with a good website that's built to convert and it can really multiply um, over time. So I just wanted to lead with that example just to kind of give you a sense of what's possible um, within within your business when you get this dialed in. So before we dive into the nuts and the bolts and we start looking at real world examples, um, post in comments, what are you most excited about as it relates to getting your conversion dialed in? Or why is this important for you? So help me out, make, let's make this an interactive process because I'm gonna ask some of you guys to share your website and we can use you as examples as we go. Uh, but just kind of post in comments, why is conversion optimization important for you? Increase business across service areas, expand service areas, uh, make more money from the traffic we're getting, get a better return on investment from the services that we provide. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Christina. Uh, thank you, Bill. Really appreciate you guys engaging with me. I, it does help to make this an interactive process. Joe says, uh, increase profits, period. Higher return on investment. No doubt. So let's, let's, dive, into the, let's dive into the nuts and the bolts on this. Um, I did put together a worksheet that will help you guys track along with me today because we're gonna be looking at examples. And I, one thing I don't want is for this to be a session where you hear me talk and you see the examples, you're like, okay, that's cool. Like maybe one day I'll do some of that stuff. 
I want you to be able to take this and implement it in your real world business and start to get the results and start to get the increased you know, lead flow. Because you're not on this just for the fun of it, right? You came on because you're like, yeah, I do need to have my website converting better. And so this workbook will help you track along and get better results. And so if you go to, and we'll put it in chat, Christian, uh, plumberseo.net slash convert dash workbook. It's a Google Doc that we can track along together and really make sure you're clear on the specific steps to maximize conversion. So in my mind, this, this number has grown over the years. There are really 12 critical elements to conversions. I'm going to talk through them at a high level, and then we're going to look at real examples of how this looks in the real world, um, and then kind of look at your websites that, that are on with us live and make sure that you're clear, okay, this is what I need to change. If I, if I modify that, it will have this impact, right? So the first is you want to make sure that you're speaking to your customer avatar. Most plumbing and HVAC websites that, that I look at, um, you know, they're, they're very tech. You know, we provide drain cleaning or we have this indoor air quality system. But the fact is your customer doesn't care about the tech jargon. They're, they have frustrations, right? They need someone to get out to their home today. They want to make sure they don't get ripped off. They want to make sure that you're going to show up on time and that the problem can be behind them. And so to the extent that the communication the, the messaging above the fold, the messaging at the bottom of your page speaks to their fears and their frustrations, the emotional triggers, we find that has a big impact on conversion. I'm going to show you some real examples of this stuff as we go. Number two is to make sure that you're authentic. Like, and by that, I mean use real pictures of you, the owner. Use real pictures of your team and, and kind of sprinkle that throughout your website. Now, I find most plumbing and HVAC companies, they, they, they do one of two things. They put a cool picture of a truck um, or they use stock imagery. So they put a picture of the smiling family or the guy with the wrench and that's okay. But what we found is people want to do business with real people. They want to do business with people they know, like, and trust. And I've split tested this across the hundreds of plumbing and HVAC and home service websites that we've rolled out. And the ones that have real pictures, not maybe not the fanciest, maybe not the prettiest, but the real pictures of the owner, of the team that works at the company, and are authentic, get sometimes as much as two to three times better conversion. Because again, people want to do business with real people. So don't be corporate with your website. Don't use stock imagery, use real pictures. And we'll talk about how to get some of this imagery and the type of imagery that works best. Where possible, you want to use multimedia and video, right? They say that a picture is worth a thousand words. Uh, well, if that's the case, then, a, mil then a, a video is worth a million words. Because if you, the owner, can stand on camera and say, hey, welcome to our website. You know, if you're having problems with your plumbing or your drains or your air conditioning system, you've come to the right place. We specialize in helping people in this area, and this is why people choose us, right? We answer the phone live, we show up on time, um, we'll make sure that your satisfaction is guaranteed, right? If they can see you and hear you, and you've kind of interlaced that throughout your website, um, it gives you a massive competitive advantage from a conversion perspective. So you want a website welcome. You, ideally, you'd want a, a video for each one of the services. So if you do drain cleaning and water heaters and indoor air quality, a video speaking to each of those. And, and you, you definitely want to have some type of video that explains why somebody would want to choose you versus the competition. Like what's your unique selling proposition? If you can make that really clear on a video, why choose us and incorporate that into each of those videos and those service videos, you're going to give yourself a massive competitive advantage. Number four is you want to make sure you're leveraging social proof, right? Anybody can say we're a great plumbing HVAC home service company, right? We're awesome. Our pricing is great. We show up on time. We're going to get the job done right the first time, right? And there's there's something to be said for saying that about yourself. But naturally, when you hear someone say good things about them your, about themselves, you think, ah, oh, whatever, anybody's going to say that. What's more compelling is other people saying those same things. Other people saying, oh, yeah, I used Lanny's and they came out on time and they were awesome, right? And so you want to make sure you're leveraging social proof. That's the reviews that you have. That's testimonials from other people that have used your services and have had a great experience, you want to make that front and center on your website. And where possible, you want to make it visible on every page of your website. And you want to make it very easy to access. 
because you know not only do they need to see who you are, right? Those pictures and an emotional connection. Not only do they need to hear the messaging that matches what they want. Okay, you're going to show up on time. You're going to have a fair price. You're going to stand by. Your, you know, you got trained in, in professional techs. They also want to hear what other people are saying, right? So bringing that into your website really has an impact on conversion. And there's some very basic fundamental things that you can do on your website that really impact conversion rates um, that get missed a lot of the time in plumbing, HVAC, home service websites. So that's having your phone number in the top right hand corner, right? On every page where they can clearly just kind of go, oh, okay, there's the number. Because not everybody even cares that much. Or right? you think about it, a lot of times this is a snap decision, right? They pull up your website, they see, okay, this looks legit. They press the number and they, and they call, right? Or they see it and they, they call from their phone. So you want to make sure the phone number is easily accessible. You want to ensure that there's a web form that people can fill out. Not everybody's in a place where they can make a call. Sometimes they're at the office and they're just like, I need to start the process to, you know, request a quote or request an estimate or request a scheduled service call. Um, and so having the option where they can enter their name and their phone number and have someone reach back out to them, you want to have that easily accessible for, for your customers and prospects. Leverage credibility symbols, like if you're a member of BBB, if you're a member of the Plumbing Association, you want to anchor to the, the credibility symbols that they recognize. Make sure that you've got a clear call to action. Again, I'm going to show real like visuals and all of this stuff, but I want to talk high level about it. Uh, clear call to action on every page. So if you've got a service page about drains, you know, don't just talk about drains and end the page. Make sure at the bottom it tells them exactly what to do next. So to schedule your service call, call us at this number or click here to schedule a time right now. Um, use special offers and incentives that match what they're in need of. Uh, make sure that the website is mobile optimized with click to call functionality. We're finding something like 60 to 70% of your visitors are getting your website from mobile devices more than ever before. And the experience that they have on a mobile phone is different than the experience that they have on a desktop. So you want to make sure that the website fits nicely on the mobile phone when they browse it and that they can click a button and be calling your office and not have to worry about re redialing it. This one, number eight, can have a massive impact on, on how well or how poorly your website converts. Make sure you're leveraging live chat. Like this has been a major shift um, and we're seeing it more and more in home service companies. And this is that it's always been conversion happens on the phone, right? 100% conversion happens on the phone. They have to call your office to talk to somebody over there to schedule an appointment. But as people have become more mobile adaptive, right? They're walking around with their cell phone everywhere. They do everything on their cell phone. Uh, most people would much rather engage via chat or a text message than a phone conversation. I want to hear from you guys in comments. How many of you would prefer, if you had the option to engage via a chat or a text message with somebody as opposed to a phone call, if it could be done? Just put text message if you would prefer text uh, or phone call if you prefer phone. All right, so we got text, 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 100% text, live chat without a doubt. Awesome. All right, so thanks. I, I, and this is the reality for your customers as well, right? where they feel confident that they can actually get done without having to talk to somebody, they're going to take that chance. And so you want to make sure you are using chat or two-way text message on your website so that somebody can choose that, right? And, and the technology exists now where you can serve your customer, get them booked and dispatched without even having to have a live conversation. So make sure you're not missing that. The plumbing and HVAC companies that get this dialed in first are going to be the ones that have a competitive advantage because they, you know, your customer wants this to be an easy and fun experience. Um, start giving the, the opportunity to book online. So beyond just text messaging, um, a lot of the platforms now like Service Titan and um, House Call Pro and several of the others will actually let somebody pick a time that's you know, right inside of your dispatch system. So start toying with the possibilities. There's easy ways to embed from most of these platforms now where they can book right on your website. Now also very, 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 very important is site speed. Site, site speed matters as it relates to conversion. Also matters for SEO and a lot of other things. But if your website is slow, as dictated by GT metrics or by uh, PageSpeed Insights, there's tools that can help you figure this out. Um, 
it will it will actually marginally impact your conversion rate and the amount of leads that you get. So make sure that your website is optimized to load extremely quickly. And number 12, and this is relatively new in the world of home services, is make sure that you're engaging via SMS, phone, and email via marketing automation. I'm gonna talk about this toward the end of today's session. I'm gonna talk about how you can leverage marketing automation to stay to follow up with your leads instantaneously, massively improve your conversion rates, and, and do a lot of it via automatic systematic. So where the, a phone call goes out, a text message goes out, a prompted reminder goes out um, based on logical triggers that happen. We're finding our, our clients that are leveraging marketing automation are getting somewhere between three and five times higher conversion rate from the leads that they're, they're generating. So I'm gonna share some examples of that as well. So these are the 12 critical elements. Um, I wanna dive in and show you guys some real world examples of this stuff so that we're not just talking in you know, bullets, but we can look at real world examples and uh, really how this works. So let me give you an example of a, of a website that's, that's built to convert, and that's Valley Plumbing. They're based in Salt Lake City, Utah. And I'm just gonna talk through, you know, high level, the, the conversion elements that we talked about, right? The first thing I talked about was making sure that there was personality and authenticity on the website. So we're on this website, and here we have one of the technicians, we've got the team waving, right? By doing this, you take away the, the sense that this is an anonymous corporation, but this is a legitimate, recognizable company. We're speaking to the, um, the real reasons that they want to hear, right? Exceptional service, quality workmanship, 24-7, 24-hour emergency service available. They want to know, kind of call this company any time of the day and get an answer. Um, lots of messaging that speaks to why choose them versus the competition. Social proof, we got real testimonials flowing into this website uh, from their actual customers. That way they can, they can read the social proof. We've got the booking. This is actually a booking widget right into Service Titan. So somebody could say, okay, I want to book on Thursday at 10 a.m. and I can actually book right into Service Titan if I want to. Hassle-free, superior customer service, competitive and on-off pricings 24-7. So really speaking to why them versus the competition. Um, and I know some of us are anti-coupons and incentives, but there are people that are price-sensitive shoppers. And if we can give them you know, just the inkling of an incentive, right? The inkling of why would I want to choose this company uh, versus somebody else? $25 off any service call, right? Click here and get your get your coupon. You know, let's get these people in. Let's get them to take action. Um, and then even more video-based communication, right? Trucks driving down the road, video of the owner. I'm not going to play the whole video, but do you guys get the idea we're leveraging all of the right conversion elements on this site? Phone number in the top right-hand corner of every page. Ability to engage with them via live chat for one-to-one -one communication. And of course, a nice, tight mobile experience where you can see what you need to see. You can click a button and call their office and you can engage in the way that's most comfortable for you as the consumer. So there, there's an example of a, of a website that's that's built to convert. And this site converts very well. As a matter of fact, let me see back over here. So we can see they, they generated 510 leads via the internet. So this came, if we kind of look at this report, 333 via organic, 115 via pay-per-click, uh, 61 via Google Maps. Um, and they, they have about a $10,000 investment in their online marketing. So if we divide that out, it's about $18.81 per lead. And what's really cool is we can see for the traffic that they get, 3,117 visitors generated from, from organic. We can see that's about a 35% conversion rate from visitor to call. Really, and that's what we want, right? We want to get out of this 10% conversion range or this 5 to 10% conversion range, which is pretty average across the industry, we want to get into the 20s and the 30s because you've seen it can, it can have a double or triple effect on the amount of leads and the amount of sales that you generate via the internet. 
I'm gonna pull up a couple more examples. Just is it help? Post in comments if it's helpful to see real world examples of this. Um, just give me a yes. Yeah, I'd like to see real world examples because it helps me connect the dots from what you said on those bullets to actual real world. Okay, Christina says yes. Casey says yes. Rob says of course. Joe says okay, good, 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 good. I just want to make sure this is a productive use of, of you guys' uh, you guys' time. So here's another company. This is the Meridian Advantage. They're a uh, full service plumbing, HVAC, um, electrical contractor out in the um, East Lansing market in Michigan. S you know, similar similar elements, right? Phone number in the top right hand corner. Uh, we like to have video rolling that has personality based footage that, that converts well. Um, having the web form easily accessible, the live chat function where you can engage with somebody live and in person. Welcome video from the owner. Hey, welcome. You know, if you play this video, say, he's how welcome, we're full service, this, that, and the other. Here's why people choose us, right? Just giving them more and more reasons. Uh, speaking to that avatar, right? Always ready, trusted technicians, personal and professional, full service, satisfaction guaranteed. Test video testimonials if you have them. Extremely, uh, extremely powerful. That special offer and incentive, right? These are things that you want to make sure you have built into your website because it will definitely improve your conversion rates. It will improve the amount of leads that you get for the amount of visitors that you have coming into your into your website. So we pop back over here. Here, I mean, here's here's the result in their world. Um, 495 leads via the internet. That's 208 from organic, 113 from PPC, 150 from Google Maps, 24 web forms that were filled out. Um, investment, $6,112. That's so, when I say investment, that's how much they spent with us, how much they spent in paid search, um, and this is the, the volume of leads. So an average cost per lead of $12.35. And um, actually that was the previous year. If we kind of fast forward to current date, um, $11.65 and an average 32% conversion rate. But look at the sessions, the amount of leads generated for those sessions. We're looking at a 32 visitor to lead rate. You know, so these are just examples that this can happen in the real world if you get this stuff uh, dialed in. Megan's asking, do you, do you find that having the rolling video at the top of the whole page uh, makes the, the speed suffer? It, it can if you don't properly optimize the page. So there are ways to optimize the page and really ways to optimize that video to make sure that it loads super, super fast. Um, I'm going to show one more example here. And then if you guys, um, if, you, if one of you guys wants to volunteer your website, we'll kind of look at it from a conversion perspective. Just post it in comments. Um, that way we can, we can dive in and, and, and take a look. But this is uh, Nixco Plumbing there in Mason, Ohio. They've got the static image. You know, I, I prefer video. Next best is to have a picture of the team. Next best is to have a picture of the, um, a picture of the owner, right? People want to do business with people that are real, that they know, like, and trust. And so here we've got the phone number. We've got the live chat. We've got read our reviews, which is at the end of the day, like the number one thing that's going to help them want to choose you versus the competition. So there's 528 customer reviews right there. Um, You know all of the all of the conversion elements, and since you asked about load speed, uh, I'll pull up a couple of examples of even with the video file. The oh, actually, Christian just popped in. I'll pull this up here in just one sec. Um, so here's here's Nixco Plumbing, Mason, Ohio, uh, 367 leads. You know, 158 from organic, 104 from PPC, 84 from Google Maps. So you can see you want to have a comprehensive strategy that uses SEO and paper click and social media. If you took one of these out your overall results would absolutely suffer. So average of $13 per lead, uh, average conversion rate 38% on the reporting. So, you know, a lot of times I, I talk about this in, in marketing conferences. So I, I, I do a lot of training in the agency space as well. And agencies tell me, look, there's no way you're not gonna convert visitors at higher than 20%. But I've showed you a number of examples when you get all of these elements dialed in, the personality, the authenticity, the video, the load speed, um, you can have a, a, a significant um, conversion rate, you know, north of 30, 30%. So here's an example, Valley Plumbing, we'll just pop back over here on the load speed issue. So here's Valley Plumbing. 
It's got this preload video that goes. And here's their scores on PageSpeed Insights, 99. So you can see it, it, it can be done. C Christian, could you run a, um, a GT Metrics for Nixco Plumbing as well as Valley and put the link in here for me? So yeah, I mean, the question is, can you, can you get these sites to load fast with video? Yes, yes. And when you do, you get the, both, the best of both worlds. Obviously the video doesn't roll when you're on a, on a mobile device because it's, it's a different experience. So we showed three examples converting north 30%. We talked about the key elements that will really enhance your conversion rate. A couple of you guys have shared your websites as examples. So thank you for being our guinea pigs on today's session. I'm gonna pull up a couple of these websites now and um, let's see, oops, no, I don't want to cancel the meeting. So let's see, um, Christina Hager gave us this website. So I'm going to pull this up. Okay, so this is Pearlbert Heating and Plumbing. Looks like you guys are based in... Where are we based? Durland? Excellent. Thank you so much for being our guinea pig. So looking at what, you know, some of the key elements that will enhance conversion, um, you know, I think this looks like a nice site, right? It looks like some time has been spent and it's it's pretty well done. We got a phone number in the top right-hand corner. That's good, right? 24 hour seven. Then we've got this family operated since 1959. I think would be much better. It looks like you guys have a great company with, with a solid team. I think a picture of the team would play much better here than this smiling family. I think the messaging family owned and operated since 1959, you're kind of asking them to connect the dots. And since you've been around, you must be a quality company. You must be reliable. You must be the kind of company that's going to you know show up on time. And I would rather speak straight to the customer avatar, right? Same day service available 24 seven, right? Really speak to their fears and their frustrations. You're gonna show up on time. You're gonna do what you uh, what you said. I do like the use of testimonials and reviews right here as the as the first panel. So we got a, a special offer and incentive, a little bit about us. So a couple things that stand out from a conversion perspective. Um, the, the first is the personality authenticity. I think that's really big in this case. Uh, the second to me is having uh, some type of chat option where I can chat with you or ha be prompted to chat with you on this website. Um, and I think some type of video of you or the owner, hey, welcome to the website, um, would, would really help. So Christina, hopefully that helps. Hopefully that helps all of you guys as you look at your website, um, you know, looking at some real, some real examples here can, can help kind of bridge the, bridge the gap. Let me know if that's helpful. Okay, she, she says, thank, thank you, great. Uh, let's pull up Joe Mills. He gave us J. Mills Plumbing. So as we're doing this, make sure you're thinking about your website, right? Does this apply? How does this apply to you? Um, you know, are there elements here that you can apply in your uh, in your website? So thank you for your interest in our services. View and print coupons. So a little pop up here to, to strike action. Uh, I do love this personality and authenticity. Joe, is this you as the as the owner or leader of the company? If so, I really like it. I really like it a lot. Uh, all right, so we've got the services here. We've got the phone numbers in the top right-hand corner. 100% satisfaction guaranteed with a mark-leading warranty. That's wonderful. Really strong messaging, speaking to the customer avatar. A um, little bit text-heavy maybe here. Social me uh, social proof, which is good. So this, I mean, all, overall, this is pretty. this is pretty solid. I like the authenticity. I like the personality. Um, I think to plus one this, you might have... Um, you might have a video, hey, welcome to the website. If you're having these problems, here's how we can help. Um, and I definitely think having some type of live chat engagement would, in, would improve your, your conversion rates as well. I'm just curious. So site speed's pretty, pretty important. Let's run that and let's see how these websites look. Mobile, looks like it's mobile optimized. I mean, if I'm not looking at a mobile phone, I can't tell for sure, but um, it looks like this has been optimized uh, for, for mobile. So a couple tips there that you could put in play. Uh, so Joe says that's him and his twin, love it. So I mean, the one thing I like to do to to, to make this even more obvious because as a, as a potential customer, this could be one of your technicians, 
It could be a member of your team, and there's nothing wrong with that. But if you could put, you know, Joe and John, owners of Jay Mills Plumbing, right here, like in a caption of some sort, that bridges the gap. It's like, okay, these are twins. That's awesome. And they run this company. That's really cool. It automatically makes me want to do business with you more. So I like to use some type of caption saying, you know, who you are as your as your owner in the in the business. So hopefully that helps the chat. A little bit of video uh, video um, engagement into the website um, would definitely help with your your conversion rates. Other than that, um, really really solid solid website. The other thing here is your load speed on the site is 62. Um, could be faster, right? So there may be some things that could be done to um, optimize the images, optimize the plugins that are running in the background, condense certain things, uh, because that 62 could be hurting your SEO, could be hurting your conversion rate, you know, because it's taking a little bit of time for someone to get on the on the website. Um, awesome. Well, thank you guys for being willing to share. It's always a little bit nervous. You never know what you're going to say. I would say you guys both have great examples of good websites. Uh, but my objective would always be to help you come up with one or two little tweaks that could maybe bump you from 20% to 30% or 20 to 25% and help you drive even better results with your, um, with your, with your website. So I do have a, 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 a cheat sheet that I made that kind of helps you from a wireframe perspective. See, okay, what, like, what, like, what do I need to make sure I have? You know, the, the logo, the social proof, the live chat, um, and if you want to download this, and Christian, if you want to put this in chat, the link to it is plumberseo.net slash cheat sheet. Um, that'll take you to a page where you can download this little cheat sheet so you can easily look at your website um, and kind of look at it and say, okay, I want to make sure I get those testimonials above the fold. I want to make sure I get that live chat widget going. Christian, if you don't mind, pop that into the into the chat. That would be That would be fantastic. So what I want you to do, and we're going to dive into how to how to use marketing automation here in a second, but out of all the things we talked about, right, and, and you've got it in your workbook, um, multimedia, phone number in the top right-hand corner, better messaging that speaks to the why somebody should choose you versus the competition, maximizing your load speed, having live chat, what are three things that you can implement in your website to have better conversion? I want you to you know, either type this right into the Google Doc or write it down but I really want you to post in comments for me. What are the top three things that you'll do? And I'll give you guys a minute here because the last thing I want is for us to have rattled off a bunch of ideas and you not being laser clear. Okay, these are the, the three that I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on over the next 30 to, to 90 days. So Joe says site speed, you got load more pictures and videos, uh, make sure we add some chat onto the website. Um, Excellent. Okay, people are popping their stuff in. Optimize the images. Get real team pictures, says Christina. Absolutely. Um, add chat. Change some of the verbiage so it speaks to the customer avatar. Great. Good, good, good. So we're walking away some, with some clear actionables, which is what I always want. Um, and I want to make sure that this is actionable. You know, we actually do something with it. So what I want to talk about now is, is what I think is the biggest marketing issue face, facing plumbing, HVAC, and home services. And to me, that's unconverted leads. We talked about earlier, you guys are spending so much money on advertising and you think you need to spend more. It's like, okay, let's increase the PVC budget or let's open up the home advisor spend and let's generate more leads. But the reality is most of those leads are going unconverted. What I'm seeing across the industry in home services is that about 50 to 60% of inbound leads go unconverted, right? People calling in, people texting in, hey, I've got, you know, I need a plumber, I need an HVAC contractor, and you know, you guys are busy, and either they don't book it right on the call, or they they just don't convert for whatever reason or other. The other thing is, it's, it's amazing to me, but like 90% of web forms don't convert at all. To me, the web form where you enter the customer's name and email address, is where leads go to die, right? Because, you know, if they filled out a form, they might not be that interested. And you guys just don't have the time and the attention to follow up with those people, get them on the phone and get them booked and get your guys dispatched. And so here's why. 
the reality is leads, inquiries, people looking for these services that aren't followed up within, within 15 minutes or less, go cold, right? If they don't have someone calling them almost immediately after they inquire or following with them immediately after they left the voicemail, they're moved on, right? They called somebody else, they scheduled it somewhere else, or they just decided, oh, I'll, I'll circle back to this later. The other thing is that the average customer needs to be followed up with five to seven times before booking a job. And you might say, well, not in, not in plumbing and, and HVAC. You know, these people, they, they either book it or they don't. Well, the reality is the people that submit a form, the people that call in and don't book right off the front end, they need to be followed up with. And I would say 99% of our clients and 99% of home service contractors do not have the wherewithal to follow up with their leads, right? You guys are only taking the opportunities that are ready to book right now, right? And if they do not book right now, then we just say, forget it, right? You know, we'll let them call back in or we'll let them follow up with us when they're ready. The smart contractors, the smart home service companies have systems in place to follow up with them a number of times and remain top of mind where they're still in that decision-making process to get them to call us versus the competition. We talked about this earlier, but the fact is today's customer prefers to interact via text message rather than phone, right? And because you don't have immediate follow-up on your leads, because you're not following up with them on a consistent basis over time, and you're not leveraging SMS text messaging, you leave a lot of opportunities on the table. And so here's the, really here's the solution that we've developed and that's leveraging marketing automation to make sure that every single web form on your website gets followed up within two minutes or less. And they get followed up via phone, via email, and via text message. And I'll, I'll kind of show you some examples of this. And making sure that we automate the follow up so that every prospect gets touched at least five times and you're able to engage with them via two way text messaging. So I'll just show you an example of this. If we go to plumbingdoctor.com, we pull this up. This web form right here is just a simple web form. Person enters their name, their email, their phone number, and their, and their you know, whatever it is, they, I need a water heater or I need a drain clean. What we have is automation built so that the second that web form gets filled out, a call goes to their office and the lady at the office's name is Melanie and it rings to their office, not you know the web form, it rings to the office and says, hey, Tom Jones, who just filled out the form, just submitted a web form, press one to be connected now. So every lead automatically gets connected with a press one opportunity. And so office staff presses one and it just feels to the customer like you immediately followed up. And we found you know, something like five in 10 of these web forms get connected with the person right away, the, the job gets booked, right? But the other five out of 10 times, the person's busy, they send it to voicemail, they don't wanna to talk to somebody live. And so we've got automation built so that when they ignore the call, it immediately leaves a pre-recorded message. Hey, this is Melanie over at the plumbing doctor. You submitted the form on our website. I just wanted to make sure we reached out right away give me a call back at this number or shoot me a text message so we can answer any questions that you have and get you scheduled out, right? Just voicemail automatic and then a text message response. So a quick text message goes back to the customer. They fill out the form, they got a missed call, they got a voicemail, and now they're also getting a text message that says the same thing. Hey, it's Melanie over here at the plumbing doctor. You filled out the form, would love to connect with you and answer any questions that you have. Give me a call back or text back here and we can get you scheduled. Right, And what we found is by putting that automation in place just on the form, and we call these smart forms, we took what was converting one out of nine web forms to almost nine out of nine web forms because we made sure that every one of these had immediate follow-up. And of course, there's a drip campaign on the back end of it as well. So that not only do they get that one message, but the next the, like three hours later, they get another message. Hey, just wanted to touch base. You know, Did you get this taken care of? And then the next day, they get another one. And then two days later, they get another one. And it's no work of their, of their staff. And it's not overburdensome because if the customer has already booked it, um, if they've you know worked with another company, they just write back, oh, I'm all taken care of. And it removes them from the campaign. How many of you think, and I wanna hear from you in comments, how many of you think if you followed up 
assertively with your leads in this way, you would convert more of the web forms that are coming into your office. I just want to hear a yes um, if you think that you could definitely convert more of your leads if you had that type of automation in place. Joe Mills says, absolutely. TK says, yes, absolutely, no doubt. And now what I want you to think about, tons of, yeah, everyone, everyone knows that this would improve your conversion rates. Now, I, what I want you to think about next is that's just the web forms on your website. And if we look at some of the, the reports that I pulled up earlier, you know, out of hundreds of leads, a couple of them come in via, uh, via web forms. I want you to think about all of the other lead sources that you have where somebody submits a request. I want you to think about the home advisor leads that you may buy, the local service ads leads that you buy, um, the leads that come in from those other sources. And the same logic applies. The person that follows up most quickly and diligently over time is going to get the job, right? And if you communicate with your prospect in the way they prefer to be communicated with, which is SMS text message for the most part, you can really maximize the, the ability to convert these leads into sales. And I just want to show you some of the math behind this because I, I've, I really believe this is a, a massive uh, game changer. So here's the math. Let's say we generate 100 leads via whatever sources, SEO, pay-per-click, social media, um, and usually we're seeing is maybe like a 30% conversion rate on these leads, right? Because there's no automation. It's just a person calls in and they schedule the, they schedule the call or they don't, right? And about 30% of them don't. And the other 70% kind of go, go to the wayside. So out of 100 leads, let's say we can book 30 jobs at an average ticket of $650, that'd be about $19,000 in revenue for those, you know, for those 100 leads. Not, not very good, right? Hard to monetize your, your, your advertising, hard to grow with those numbers. Now we put automation in place, right? We make sure that every lead that comes in gets an immediate call, immediate text message, and a drip sequence over time. The other thing we put in place is every call that calls in and says, yeah, let me check with my wife, or let me check with my tenant. Um, let me call you back. And they hang up. They also get added to an automation that says, hey, thanks for calling in today. Here's my number. If you need anything, give me a call back. And they just get dripped on until they convert. We find that when we put that automation in place, magical things happen. So we can increase our conversion rates from like 30% to 70% with this type of marketing automation. Um, and for the same 100 leads, instead of generating 30 jobs, we can generate 70 jobs, which would be $45,000 in revenue on the same investment, on the same, um, the same services, which obviously means you can spend more, you can be more aggressive with your growth, and you can really take your, your business to the next level. So really what it does is it makes every lead that you generate more valuable. And I would love to implement this technology in your business um, the, the tool that we've developed for this is called Conversion Amp. Um, a lot of you said, yes, this would be effective, this would help. If you'd like to talk with us about specifically the Conversion Amp element, this marketing automation platform, and that's of interest to you, um, just post in comments Conversion Amp, um, and we'll make sure that Christian reaches out, we show you exactly how this works, uh, we talk about the, the investment involved. Um, what I found is what we ask in, in investment on this marketing automation um, pays for itself hundreds of times over, right? Because if we can help you even generate more, one more job as a function of it, um, it, it has a massive, massive impact. So actually Christian just posted in comments, if you want to learn more about the platform, there's a cooking demo here. Um, it's called Conversion Amp. Um, it, is, it, is pretty, it is pretty tremendous. Um, so if you're interested in that, post in comments, yes, I'd like to learn more about this platform uh, or go here and schedule an appointment and it's here click get started and you'll get added to the calendar and we can we can walk you through the setup and the cost and all of that um, all of that fun stuff so is your website truly optimized for conversion is it speaking to your customer avatar are you being real um, using authentic imagery throughout the page and the, and the website are you using mul uh, multimedia which means video Welcome to their website, video for each of the different services, video explaining why somebody should choose you versus the competition, you know, leveraging the social proof, showing the reviews and the testimonials that you have across the web, 
phone number in the top right hand corner, web form where someone can fill out and, and request more information, authority symbols kind of featured throughout the website, um, ensuring that you have calls to action, tell them exactly what to do next, uh, leveraging special offers and incentives, making sure the website is mobile, optimized, leverage chat, let them engage with you, ideally via two-way text, um, Conversion Amp is great for this. Um, start giving them the opportunity to book online if you use uh, one of these tools like um, Service Titan or House Call Pro or one of the other pl platforms. Make sure that your website is optimized for speed, right? That it loads quickly. Um, you can search on GT Metrics or Google Page Speed Insights. It'll tell you kind of, you know, are you in green? Or are you in yellow? Is there an issue with your load speed? And and make sure that you're leveraging automation, right? The companies that get on the on the front end of marketing automation, they make sure their leads get followed up with immediately. They make sure that they've got, you know, an ongoing communication with their prospects via text message and email are absolutely going to win. And that's where Conversion Amp, which I just showed you, comes into play. So that's the big picture, right? We've, we've gone deep. We've showed specific examples. We've looked at the 12 elements that will really maximize the conversion rate on your website. I want to make sure you all walk away with at least three action items. So if you could, just indulge me in comments. I know some of you already did this before, but what are three things you can put in place based on what we've just covered here over the last, last hour um, that you'll put in place, that you'll at least look into to help you improve your conversion rate? Somebody engage with me in, in comments on this. Okay, great. Pictures, team pictures. Get some video on the homepage, welcoming them. Site speed, live chat. Tap into marketing automation. Talk to us about conversion amp, absolutely. Fantastic. So, you know, if you'd like some help with this stuff, again, we'd love the opportunity to talk. Like we build these websites, we optimize these websites, we run the online marketing strategies and, and campaigns. Um, we specialize in working with plumbing, HVAC, home service companies. Uh, you can go ahead and type let's talk in comments if you'd like for us to look at your website and come back with a detailed analysis and show you, you know, here's how you can improve conversion. Here's what's going on with load speed. Here's how the website ranks uh, for your most important keywords. Here's what's going on with your paid search campaign. And what we do on those sessions is very um, informational. So we're not a hard sell company. It would be here's what we found, right? And if you've got a great website and it's built to convert and everything's going well, we'll tell you that. We'll give you a stamp of approval. Um, if we see opportunity for improvement, we'll also kind of spell, spell that out, right? And it could be just clarity on what you need to change with your internal team, your current provider, or it could be you look at it and say, how could plumbing and HVAC SEO help me implement this, right? So, you know, if you'd like to have us look at what you're doing, we'd love the opportunity to talk you can call us at 866-610-4647 um, or go to plumberseo.net slash schedule. That's plumberseo.net slash schedule. Um, and that'll take you to a page where you can enter some details about your company and get you right on our calendar uh, to, to go through, a, through that analysis process with you. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, hopefully you get some new ideas and strategies to help you convert better, which will mean you get more leads and more sales and can take your company to the next level faster. If you have any follow-up questions, I'm here. You know, and if you have any questions about website optimization, about conversion optimization, about anything internet marketing centric, um, I'm, I'm happy to hang out for a little bit, answer any questions that you have, um, just pop them into, into chat. Otherwise, appreciate your time. Go back and implement some of the stuff we covered on today's session. Um, again, free online marketing review for you. We'll, we'll do an analysis of your online visibility. We'll run a, a custom keyword list of the most important keywords that somebody would be typing in your area. So you can take that and use it in your marketing. Uh, we'll run a ranking report and show you exactly where you rank right now on Google and Yahoo and Bing for those most important keywords. Um, so you can see like, are we up on page one? Are we missing the boat on some of these key terms? Uh, we'll kind of look at your consistency of your name, address, phone number across the web. Uh, we'll do an analysis of your online reputation and kind of show you, you know, is that an issue? Is there room for improvement on that front? Uh, your social presence and the effectiveness of your of your website conversion. So completely free, completely no pressure. Um, if you want to take us up on that, you can go to plumberseo.net slash schedule. 
Um, Christian, if you don't mind, pop that in the chat. That way, if you want, you can click there, go to that page, get yourself scheduled. Otherwise, I'm open for any questions that you have. I'm not seeing a lot of questions and comments, so I think we'll, we'll wrap it up here. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. Um, let me know what you think. Like, was this useful? Would you like me to do more deep dives or some section of this internet marketing stuff that you'd like me to talk about more? Let me know in comments. Um, feel free to reach out to me on Facebook. Send me a PM uh, or shoot me an email, josh at plumberseo.net. Um, it was my pleasure to share with you today. I appreciate your time and um, I look forward to seeing you next month. Next month, we're going to be talking all about uh, how to optimize your website for, for page one rankings, right? The Google algorithm is constantly changing. Uh, we're going to be going deep on search engine optimization and the, the 2020 SEO formula, what's happening with your, you know, your keywords, and your meta descriptions and your links and your citations and your reviews to really help make sure you're ranking on the first page. So that's, that's it for now. Really appreciate your time. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later.